I want to add a way so we can explore our GraphQL query without having to spin up another application. So I'm going to hop into the root of this API project and I'm going to add a new directory called Playground. And inside of here, I'm going to add a new HTML file. We'll just call this index.html. And I'm going to paste in the following contents. So what I've done here is I've just grabbed the GraphQL Playground, and these are all going through jsdeliver.net. This is an application or a website that will take npm packages and distribute them. And we're just loading in all the style sheets and JavaScripts to, for GraphQL. And if you notice, we've gone ahead and we've told our GraphQL Playground to set the endpoint to our current application's website's protocol our host, and then we'd say at the root forward slash GraphQL. And this string right here will line up so it'll match what we've defined here inside of our request path. So with everything here defined, what we need to do is we need to hop into our configure application builder, and we're gonna define that we wanna use a file server. We'll take in our file server options, and we're going to define our request path is equal to slash playground. And then we're going to take in our file provider. It's going to be a physical file provider. And what we're going to do for this one is we're going to say path.combine. And we're going to take our directory dot current directory. And we're going to combine that with playground. So what we're doing here is we'll see this. So when I start this application, so I've hit the application at port 5000. You can see it reads out the hello world message, which is what is by default always going to happen. And then if we go to slash playground, and so inside of the playground, if we go to the right side, if we click this green tab for schema, you can see it shows that we have query types. It finds our message. It says it's a string and it appended the bang. That means it is not nullable. It tells us what the string is. And what we can do with this is we can come on the left side. We can say we want to write a query. And if we hit control space, just like in Visual Studio or Writer, it'll tell us what available fields we have. And you can see it finds that message. And if we fill that in and hit run, you can see it says hello from GraphQL. And so what we've done here is that's gone to our query type. It said we had a non-null graph type of string and the name was message, and when we resolve that, we return back a string of hello from GraphQL. And so that completes part three, where we've actually gone ahead and wired up our entire GraphQL middleware. So now we can start moving towards actually building an entire application around this. So I'll see you next time.